What's good, Home Squad? It's your boy, Home Ziggy. We back here with another reaction, and we got a Zoro song back down by Divide Music One Piece. Now, it's like this. This, if I'm not mistaken, ain't this like his second time doing a Div uh, One Piece song? Cause, cause I know the last time we were, the last time he did like a One Piece song was with that luffy one with the what was it the grand line and i gotta say that one that was like a modern version of a sea shanty that nigga shit off we roll off we roll na, 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 na. hey you cannot tell me if you wasn't trying to cosplay as a pirate and you was gonna use that as a freaking shanty song for you you crazy but either way we back on him and again and this time he said he got another so he got another one piece song like i said and apparently since like called the new one piece live action show on netflix release and such he said he's inspired by that so you know what i mean hey at this point people are i feel like people the nerdcore artist is gonna gravitate to that because even though i haven't watched it yet little hints little 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 previews i've seen on like instagram or so where it was promoting it looks pretty crazy so who knows i might watch it but either way we about to check this out we on the road to 2k make sure you like comment and subscribe follow me on all my socials up there and without further ado let's get in the video Subscribe to the channel. You already know. Hold up. Wait a minute. Pause. Run that sucker back. Hold up. First of all. Production mix and mastered by Lee Arborich. Arborich. Hope I'm saying that right. And the video editing by Hiki. Hey, hold on. This already sounds way different. Hold up a second now. Hold up a second. Make sure we turn all the way up in this sucker. What you mean? What's up? There it is. Ooh, hold up, this is a different vibe. That, this is such a different vibe because you can definitely, t honestly, if I didn't check on that description, right, I would have thought the vibe of this production of the notch. But either way, I always, it's basically like this. It's always good when an art, in a way, it's always great to see that an artist can step out of their production type beats and such and go on other people's beats because nigga sometimes you never know they might sound perfect on that shit and this one even though it has little elements of the vibes like rock in a way the rock vibes in there it is totally you can definitely tell it's a different production wise from the vibe Hold up. Back 
down, double back down. Double back down. See what I mean? Right there. Do that time. Hold up. I gotta say this. Hold the hell up. Nah, I gotta go back to that chorus because that chorus sounds totally. It's like I said, it still has its rock elements to it, but in a different tone. Because normally, when if you've seen how whenever Divide goes for like his choruses and such, it has intensity, it has like energy and such. This has the same way, but it's like you can say, like, more. How can I say it? More of like a. I won't say pop. I can't say pop rock. But it's like a more modern, like a more modern rock and such. You can say that's that's all I can, how I can be able to talk it and such, cause it sounds totally different. I won't back down. Even the guitar solo is different. I, you need to come on more people. You need to be on other people's beat. Hold on, let me see what's on my phone here. Sorry, I had to check what's on my phone. But hey, hold on. Divide, you need to be on more other people's beats. Because, nigga, I be. It's basically like this. Don't get it twisted, right? Do not get it twisted. We all love Divide's production on any time he does his beats, right? Or any other people's production he be on. But something about when an, when an artist slash producer goes on other steps out of their beats and goes into other people's beats, it's like it unlocks a new like new like artistry to them. And you cannot tell me otherwise, cause nigga. That's a part of evolution as an artist. Sometimes you're gonna have to. Sometimes you will feel like you have to get away from other people's, get away from your own beats and such because you're used to it. You don't want people to feel like your music is always stale and predictable with your beats, not just with your lyrics and such, with your beats. You need to make sure you at least venture out to other people's beats and such, other production and such. Because trust me. But not just artists in general, production and such. There be other pe there be producers out there, whether they're big or whether they're small, that their production is freaking crazy. That you would think like nigga, it's just that they just wait for the right moment for somebody to use their beat. Shit. Second. Ooh, I like the fading out. You see what I mean? I like the fade. It. I like the fade out and then fade back in with it and such. I like, hold on, that that was fire. Hold on, go back to that. That was a fuck. I mean, see, it just it's little details like that what makes it more fire. Now listen, the fade out. And they fade back in. Wait And they fade back in. Yes, 
Says I will back down, back down. Back down. Okay, so if you don't think I'm going back to that course, you crazy. Come on now. I'm off the news, cause I won't care. No. If it ain't. Cause I won't back down, I won't back down Me at the bottom of the news Cause I won't back down Back down Back down Cause I won't back down Back down you should've left me at the bottom of the news Cause I won't back down Back down Come on now You cannot tell me That wasn't a great production right there What you mean? Man, I wish more Look It's things like this More artists needs to do that I'm not kidding, cause and in a way, hear me out when I say this. Stevade, he produced, he said a, he tweeted out on in, on Twitter and such, saying about how with nerdcore it's been stagnant and such that a lot of Gear Five or JJK raps, or mostly about the beats and such, right? Mostly about how the beats are. I don't care about that JJK Gear Five stuff, cause let's face it, that's the new thing that's going on. But within the beats and such, I'm not gonna lie, he does have a point. Certain beats needs to change and such, like, at least try to switch up the beats once in a while, or even so, find new beats to do. And trust me, something like this, what Divide did, go, go, like, go off of somebody else's production beats, bro, this is what most artists needs to do. Go find more unique beats out there from different producers. Because trust me, like I said, y'all not the producer. When you're an artist yourself and a producer, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Y'all beats be fire. But you need to realize that as an artist, you sometimes need to venture out of your beats and go into other people's beats. Because trust me, you will find that their beats are pretty nice to go out of. I ain't going to lie. And this one is definitely an example of it. But hey, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. And hey, if you made it this far in the video, comment down below. Freaking. Comment down below production. Because that makes me know you made it this far. But either way, it's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. Because I won't back down. Back down. You should have left me at the bottom of the news Cause I won't back down Back down Nigga, I'm about to I'm, be, I'm gonna be singing that for the entire week Lego